the new Powerpuff Girls reboot, and the fact that it is in no way what you are expecting. Hey there, time travelers! Ready for another nostalgia trip back to the past? Hop in! Because in today's video, we are traveling back to a time when villains had pun-like names such as the Gangrene Gang, and the only hope for the city of Townsville was the Powerpuff Girls. You may have heard by now that there has been some serious talk about creating a live-action series for the Powerpuff Girls. The production has even gotten as far as having a pilot for the series shot and finished. But before you get too excited, you should know that this is not going to be the same Powerpuff Girls that you know and remember from your childhood. Today, we are discussing the new Powerpuff Girls reboot and the fact that it is in no way what you are expecting. And it's certainly not meant for children. Be sure to stick around until the end of the video to find out how the current state of the reboot is. Let's not forget that in November of 1998, all it took was some sugar, spice, and everything nice. Oh, and the mysterious chemical X for the wondrous Powerpuff Girls to be born. It became one of Cartoon Network's biggest TV series of all time. The original series of the show ran for six seasons and had 78 episodes in total. The animated series followed three superpowered sisters who were created in a lab by Professor Utonium. And after their creation, they are essentially forced into being the only ones able to save their city from mass destruction. It was a fun TV show packed with 90s kids' favorite characters and villains for the Powerpuff Girls to overcome. But for those fans that are hoping for a direct translation of this into live action, I have some sorry news for you. When the CW first announced its concept for a live action show, it had a lot of fans divided. There were a lot of people who didn't have high hopes for the reboot, but there were some fans who liked some of the live action shows that the CW was already in charge of and had confidence in their ability to produce a reputable live action show based on the Powerpuff Girls cartoon. The CW is most well known for its hit shows like the ones based on DC comic books that have been dubbed a part of the Arrowverse and their longest running series Supernatural, which ran for 15 seasons over 15 years. But like I said, if you're hoping for a note to note live action copy of the original cartoon, you're barking down the wrong tree. The creators over at the CW are known for taking their artistic liberties with their projects, though they usually do their best to remain at least somewhat true to the source material. In other words, it's clear that this new Powerpuff Girls series is not going to be what you expect it to be, and honestly, it isn't likely to be released until 2023 at the earliest, but I'm personally speculating 2024. According to the creators over at the CW, their idea for the Powerpuff Girls reboot is going to take a much more serious turn, and from the sounds of things, it's not going to be made with the idea of kids watching it in mind. Instead, and like most of the shows that air on the CW, the new Powerpuff Girls, which has seen a title change into simply Powerpuff, is going to be geared more toward teenagers and young adults, which means that there's likely going to be much more drama, angst, and romance stories involved than there was in the 1998 animated series. Powerpuff is set to take place in an alternate reality, which means that though the girls' origin story may be similar to that in the animated series, there are going to be subtle differences and technically, neither of the shows are going to be canon in each other's universe. The live-action reboot is being written by Heather Renier and Diablo Cody. Renier is known for her work as a writer and producer on multiple hit shows such as the TNT smash hit Falling Skies and Fox's Sleepy Hollow series. Cody, on the other hand, is known for her work as a writer on massive projects such as Juno or Tully. Now, as someone who is a huge fan of both Renier and Cody, I was very excited to hear that they would be working on this project. But I have to say, when the actual premise for the series came out, I was a bit concerned. While still not much is known about the new Powerpuff series, we do know that it's not going to involve the girls as children anymore, and instead, they're going to be young adults in their 20s. That's right, according to a quote made by the producers of the show, when asked about the premise, they said, Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup used to be America's pint-sized superheroes. Now, they're disillusioned 20-somethings who resent having lost their childhood to crime fighting. When the world needs them more than ever, will they agree to reunite? Well, to answer the last question, yes, they will. If they didn't reunite to fight the antagonist of the series and save the world, I doubt that there would be a show in development. It honestly seems like a solid premise for the characters, especially when you consider how realistic it is for children to grow up resenting things that they had been forced into. In the case of Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup, that just so happens to be crime fighting. Another interesting idea that I got from their brief summary of the series is the fact that the show is going to be much bigger than the city of Townsville. The creators are quoted as saying, when the world needs them more than ever, which tells me that whatever threat they face is going to be much larger than anything that had threatened their city in the past. Could we be seeing the return of Mojo Jojo in a big way? Or could it possibly even be an otherworldly threat just like the Satan-esque him? 
It looks like we are just going to have to wait and see for that. As far as casting goes, there have been a few announcements about the biggest characters in the show, and there's even a major recasting in the works already as well. My favorite casting choice in the entire announcement has got to be for the Professor. You can't really have the Powerpuff Girls without Professor Utonio. Not only was he the head of the family and the girls' loving single father, but he was the one who created them in his lab. Granted, he thought he was just going to be making normal little girls and ended up with superpowers children that luckily turned out to be on the good side rather than lean into world domination which they totally could have done but regardless the creators for the new powerpuff series have announced that their version of the professor is going to be quirky debonair and a pinch of narcissistic and who better to play that than the amazing donald Faison? you most likely recognize Faison from his iconic role as christopher turk in the popular 2000s hospital-based sitcom scrubs comparing his scrubs character turk to how the powerpuff showrunners have described their version of utonium i could totally see it be prepared Faison is set to play a version of the professor that is going to come off as a bit more intense than how we all remember the character. Then we have the iconic trio, the Powerpuff Girls, who I guess in this version of the series aren't really a trio anymore, and at least at the beginning of the show have distanced themselves from one another. First up, we have Bubbles, who in the original series was an innocent and kind-hearted young girl who, when she got angry, would sometimes go hardcore. The character for the live-action series has been described as, and I quote, her sweet girl disposition won America's hearts as a young child, and she still sparkles as an adult, but her charming exterior belies an unexpected toughness and wit. She's initially more interested in recapturing her fame than saving the world, but she might just surprise us and herself. It's been announced that the character Bubbles is going to be betrayed by Dove Cameron, an actress who is best known for her portrayal of Ruby on Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., or as the character Mal in the straight-to-TV Disney movie franchise known as Descendants. Dove confirmed her excitement for the part in an Instagram post where she wrote, The city of Townsville is under attack. Next, we have Buttercup, who was described by the creators as, and I quote, she was the rebellious bad of the Powerpuff Girls in its heyday. More sensitive than her tough exterior suggests, Buttercup has spent her adulthood trying to shed her Powerpuff Girl identity and live an anonymous life. I think that's going to be an interesting take on the character and could help to add to a lot of death to an otherwise straightforward character. The live-action version of Buttercup is set to be portrayed by the amazing Yana Perot, who claims to be very grateful for what she called a role that too dreamy to believe. As far as Blossom goes, we originally had a great actress for the role, but she has since decided to leave the project, which has required them to push back the production a bit. Originally, Blossom was going to be portrayed by Chloe Bennett. Bennett is best known as the lead on Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., in which she plays the character Sky Johnson. When talking about Blossom, the studio said, although she was a spunky, conscientious, little Miss Perfect child who holds several advanced degrees, Blossom's repressed kitty superhero trauma has left her feeling anxious and reclusive, and she aims to become a leader again, this time on her own terms. For reasons that have yet to be made public, Chloe decided to step down from her part in the production of the live-action series, and it has since been announced that they are still working on recasting the character. This has created a couple of problems for the series and even caused a couple of rumors to circulate claiming that the show had been cancelled and scrapped. It wasn't only the fact that Chloe left that this rumor began spreading though. Turns out that the team working on Powerpuff had already managed to write and produce a rough pilot for the series, but it wasn't all that impressive so they were talking about possibly reworking the show in general. Then, it was announced that Chloe Bennett would be leaving the show, which meant that they now needed to not only rewrite and reshoot the pilot, but also recast one of the Powerpuff Girls. Thankfully though, it turns out that the series is still very much in the works over at the CW, and that Renyo and Cody are both still in charge of the writing. While they still haven't officially announced any casting arrangements for Blossom, or whether or not they have found their new actress, according to sources at the CW, the show project is still in development, so it's only a matter of time before it becomes a reality. Due to the casting issues and the lack of any announcements, I personally think that we will be waiting until early 2024 or late 2023 at the earliest before we see the official series airing on the CW. Though there have been a lot of fans who were seemingly upset about the announcement of a live-action Powerpuff Girls series, I think it has a lot of potential, especially since the creators of the reboot clearly care enough about the project to rewrite and reshoot the pilot because they felt that it didn't live up to their expectations. What do you think, though? Are you excited for a live-action reboot, or are you more excited for the recently announced animated reboot that is in the works? Be sure to let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. That's all for today. Remember, if you enjoyed today's nostalgic journey, be sure to like the video and subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on the chance to travel back 
through time.